be ahead. 18 spots break daily record highs to start off the new month yesterday. Fort Myers, Florida at 92. You'll be fairly close to that again today. Corpus Christi recorded almost three inches of rain. Southern Texas got that heavy rain. That was a daily record as well. Other spots uh, of Washington and Oregon had record precipitation. No threat of severe weather across the nation. A few areas where some general thunderstorms are possible. Different story tomorrow. Strong cold front will manage to kick east of the Rockies late in the day. So from about Lincoln, Nebraska, south to Lubbock, Texas, a marginal to slight risk of severe weather, a late in the day and Thursday night event should carry into Friday morning. Watching for all forms of severe weather uh, for Thursday and Friday for the central and southern United States. Watching for heavy rain as well to hit a lot of the ground in the central U.S. that's in an exceptional or extreme drought. Watching for heavy precipitation to dive into the Intermountain West again. Both rain and mountain snow to finish out the week. And we still got that ongoing. Plenty of winter weather advisories in the purple. Winter storm warnings in the pink shade. We'll get one to three foot snow amounts in some very high elevations of the various mountainous areas. Red flag warnings are noted as well for areas like eastern Colorado and Wyoming due to dry and windy weather. Uh, Hurricane Lisa is on the board, uh, about to impact Belize. Should dive into the southern Gulf of Mexico later this week, but that is where it is going to go die. Will not impact the United States. 79 in Houston for the day today. It's the western third of the nation. Cold air continues to dive in, unsettled weather, heavy 